Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and I want to welcome, sorry, all my new viewers and I just want to let y'all know I really, really, really appreciate y'all tuning in on my videos and, and subscribing. But today we're going to be doing a decor piece um, that popped in my head the idea for and I just thought it would come out looking really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what you're going to be needing for this project. Alright, so the first thing is just a little mini birdhouse you can get from Dollar Tree. It's a decor piece. I don't really feel it's a uh, birdhouse thingy, but it's a little decor piece to decorate. You're going to need one of those, whichever, whichever one you like. You're going to need paint to paint it with, and I'm going to use Pink Flash by the Focal, excuse me, Folk Art Color Shift. And then... I'm going to take this hummingbird I got from Hobby Lobby. I got it on sale and clearance because it was missing one of the birds. And the, this actually is what goes into the bird. So I'm going to be using that for this project. And some glue. I'm going to use hot glue. Alright y'all, let's get to it. Alright y'all, so I picked Pink Flash because I wanted a spring color like thing but and I just really love these flash colors so I'm hoping it works out the way I'm thinking it will so we're just gonna paint this whole thing this color so I'm gonna cry if it doesn't come out the way I want it to come out not really but I will be a little upset I try to get all the little areas because I don't want someone to look at it and go, oh, you missed a spot, you know, just because it's underneath something. You never know when someone might see it at a certain angle. So. Just give it a good paint. And I think, alright, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I am not a pink person. I'm not a fan of it. But I think this is going to work really well because it's not, it's really not in your face pink. It, well, to me it's not. Like bubblegum pink and all that. It's got more to it than that, I think. So we're just going to. I feel like it's got purple on it. There we go. That's the color I'm thinking of. Sorry. I hate when it doesn't want to come out. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint the underneath and stuff. Just because I want to make sure I get everything. And you're just going to go around, like I said, and do the whole thing pink. Or whatever color you pick, because you do not have to pick the same color I picked, y'all. This is what I chose to paint it. They have... I, I was thinking blue or green, but because the bird has green, I didn't want to, you know, camouflage it in there. I wanted to see if I could make the bird pop. So, that was my reasoning for this. And I didn't have a lot of different colors of what... I thought I had a yellow-orange, but I didn't. So, that's why I chose this. There's one... I'm going to tell you all right now. I haven't used it yet, but there is one color shift color that I think would look... Just looking at the top, I think it looks so cool. It, it's... But it's black to gold thing, so like, I, 
thought I could use it for this, but I didn't want to paint this black in essence, so. But this is supposed to just be a fun little decor piece for someone to put in their house if they like it. I'm actually making this for somebody because I know they like hummingbirds. And I hope they like the colors I pick. Again, I'm gonna go to the bottom and paint it. Of course, while doing this, if you feel you need more than one coat, and we will see once this dries if I like the one coat. So as y'all know, yesterday was Mother's Day, and drop me a line and either tell me what you did for your mom, or what was done for you, or how you celebrated the day. I personally got my mom a teapot cup that she wanted, and um, some memory wire cutters for her jewelry making and then she likes Scooby-Doo so I drew her a Scooby-Doo y'all so she now has her three favorite characters um, and back in 2014 I did Taz and Yoshi for her for Mother's Day because those were two of her absolute favorite characters but a while back she told me she wanted a Scooby, so I <laughs> drew her a Scooby. Can't not give your mom what she wants for Mother's Day. I mean, come on. This is going to be a birthday gift. Oops, I dropped something. I'm not too concerned about it. I'll pick it up later. Let me figure out what I dropped. So I'm just I'm going to say this and I know I said it last year but and Mother's Day was yesterday don't forget 
if you're only if you only have a father or if you only have a mother you can celebrate both those days with them Father's Day and Mother's Day because they were that was what they were to you I do my mom every year she gets a Father's Day and a Mother's Day So I would really love to hear what y'all think in regards to different projects. I say this all the time, but I really would because sometimes I can't think of anything. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So, we're getting done with this. I gotta still paint the top and the bottom too, but it's getting there. And once it dries completely, I'll decide whether I want to do another coat. Because I just need to see what it looks like dry before I make that decision. Do this last bit and we'll light dry and then we'll go from there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm gonna try to be careful because I really don't want to paint the rope. So I'm going to just let stop at the one side because I really don't want to get paint on the rope if I can stop myself from getting paint on it. So we're going to let all this dry and then I'm going to paint the rest and then we'll go back and decide if I need to do two coats. Alright y'all, now that it's dry and I ended up using 
two coats. I like it. I'm happy with it. I hope the person I made it for is happy with it too. We're going to move on to the next and final step. And y'all, I'm not going to lie. I really hope this works. I think it will. And I think she'll love it. I'm going to take this wire that came with the hummingbird. And I'm just going to feed it through here. And I'm going to glue it there so it does not move, y'all. Because I don't want it to move. So that is going to be the next step as soon as my glue heats up because I thought it was heated up so give me a minute all right so I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put some glue there and that's gonna glue it down so it hopefully doesn't move that's the plan now for the other part I'm gonna put some glue in his little tummy and I'm going to stick the other end of that into it. And I want to leave it like this because I want it to look like he's flying off. And that is literally all you have to do to make this little decor piece. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take it down so you can see it. As you can see, it is painted. He's on there he's in flight and I just love this I thought it was such a cool idea all right y'all that's it for today's video and I'm gonna show you again what it looks like I absolutely love this I think my friends gonna love it too family member friend whatever you want to call them I can't wait to give it to them for their birthday I hope y'all enjoyed it, and if you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, because it does help my channel to grow. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!